A group of House Republicans are pushing a bill that would ban undocumented immigrants from serving in the military. Now, of course, uh, that would undo the initiatives uh, led by President Obama. Now, this bill introduced Monday uh, by Representative Paul Gozar would prevent those who fall under the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals and other unlawful aliens from enlisting in the U.S. military. Now, as it stands now, there are a limited number of legal immigrants with highly specialized skills that are currently allowed to enlist in the U.S. military. Now, that would help you, uh, that would help fast track your admission to becoming a U.S. citizen. Last year, the Pentagon allowed undocumented immigrants who fell, who fall under the DACA to, uh, law to also be eligible for the program. Now, Gozar said that move was, quote, backdoor amnesty. And in response, My anus is bleeding! Anyway, uh, that's of course it. Now, uh, he said, quote, in a quest to cement President Obama's lawless immigration agenda, his administration hijacked a military pilot program and turned it to another one of the president's amnesty programs. Military enlistment rules explicitly prohibit illegal aliens from enlisting in the armed forces, and DACA aliens do not have lawful status. Accordingly, the administration should not be enlisting DACA aliens through a backdoor amnesty program. Doc, uh, Gozar said, extending the ability to those under DACA was never authorized by Congress. So wait a minute, this guy thinks that the military, who seems to always be needing more recruits, shouldn't actually take people in who are willing to go and serve in the military in exchange for citizenship. Now that to me is amazing because nothing is more worthy of citizenship than joining the military. You're literally going to put your life in the line for years and run the risk of being killed in the line of duty. The people who are willing to do this should absolutely be able to become citizens. Now, I want to take a look at the hypocrisy of Paul Gozar. See, this guy never served in the military. I want to give you this from his own bio. Before being elected to Congress in 2010, Dr. Gozar ordered his, owned his own dental practice and was a small businessman in, Fla in Flagstaff for 25 years. So this guy, who's never served in the military and was part of the Lucky Sperm Club for being born in the United States, is going to dictate to people who want to serve a country they weren't born into, but desperately want to be part of, that they can't even go into the military, uh, they can't become citizens even if they put their lives on the line. That is ridiculous. Look at the privilege this douchebag is living in. He didn't have to do a goddamn thing to be a citizen, and yet he's going to deny others an opportunity to be a member of this great country and our military. Going into the military, this guy didn't go into the military. He didn't lift a finger. He didn't have to do a goddamn thing. And yet he's going to sit there and say, nope, you, I won't allow you. Even if, you're, even if you'll do something that I would never consider doing. You know why? Because I'm happy in my dentistry practice. I'm going to deny you the opportunity to go into the military and become a citizen, which is one of the most patriotic things that you could do other than to pay your taxes, which I'm sure this guy probably also doesn't do. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Look, maybe we should, uh, you know, take him and people like him and make them serve in the military before even being able to make these ridiculous decisions and make these ridiculous laws. Fair is fair, after all.